Okay, I'm gonna let this filter pick two random fast food logos and then we're gonna mash them together. All right, let's see what we get first. Ooh, I really need a haircut. Okay, we've got Sonic combined with Carl's Jr. All right, let's get going. Okay, if you look at the Sonic one, if you add a point here, it almost makes it like a star shape like this. So I'm thinking that's what I'll do in blue and then I'll add his little face into the star and maybe put Junior somewhere here so its name is Sonic Junior. In Illustrator, I am just adding in that extra line with the pen tool, gonna soften those edges a little bit. I made the face a vector and moved it up here, and then lastly moved the Junior up here, and then I really wanted to add in some yellow, so I brought that back in, and here's the final result. Went ahead and mocked that up on a real sign, and I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos, and then I'm gonna mash them together. Let's see what the first one is. I remember this filter takes forever. Red Robin, okay, mixed with IHOP. Interesting, all right, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we call it I Robin, and then we can take the little smiley face and put it under the O and the B, and it'll still look like a face. So I turned both of those into vectors and moved the I and the smiley face down here. Then I thought this just needed to be a little more flush, so I changed that with the pen tool. Lastly, I went ahead and made the O and the B blue, and here's the final result. I mocked that up on the side of a building, and I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's combine whatever this logo lands on. Okay, McDonald's with Shake Shack. Interesting. All right, let's do it. I'm thinking I might draw the McDonald's arch in that kind of minimalist style and turn this bun yellow and then maybe use this lettering over here to make it say Mick Shack. Okay, on a new layer, I'm just drawing this, let's see, arch. I'm gonna make the caps be this one so it's a little more rounded. I duplicated it and I'm reflecting it. That way I can get an exact copy of that side on this side of it as well. Making this be that same yellow color. I took the A from Shake and I'm making it into this kind of M. Taking the C from Shack to make it Mick. Turn those red from the McDonald's and here's the final result. I also mocked it up. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick two random restaurant logos and then I'm gonna mash them together probably in Adobe Illustrator. Let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, okay, Cheesecake Factory mixed with Applebee's. Okay, let's go. Hear me out. What if we call it Apple Cheese Factory? <laughs> and then I think I might use the C and the F and then maybe we can make the apple look like it's made of cheese or something. So first I'm gonna delete the B and move the CH up here. Then I'm duplicating this E to make it say cheese. I decided to move the up to the top as well and factory up. I made all those one color, changed the apple to cheese, and here is the final result. Mocked it up on a real restaurant and I love it. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna run this filter twice and whatever logos we get, I'm gonna mash them up. Okay, we've got Zaxby's plus Jollibee. Okay, some interesting local things, but let's do it. Am I really about to have to put this bee's head on this chicken? I think so. And then the other obvious thing I think is we gotta call it Zach's, but spell it like bees, Zach's bees. All right, let's get this monstrosity out of the way, resizing the bee's head, flip it horizontal, and perfect. Okay, I went ahead and brought that into Procreate on my iPad, and I'm just attempting to give it the same style as the bee's head. I'm just gonna bring some of the red from his head into other parts of the chicken. Now that that monstrosity is done, I found a font that's similar to the Zaxby's font called Georgia. Add that in here. And here is the final result. Did I ever think I would mash up these two logos? No. Did I make something cursed? Yes. Let me know what you think in the comments.